Tonight's Dirty Donning, Darcy Spears gets some answers to an often asked question. Why do inspectors seem to downgrade Asian restaurants more than any other? Well, here is how an expert right now is working with local businesses to try and change that. I spent 16 years teaching in Asia, and I'll tell you, I've seen it all. <laughs> I've seen it all. When the going got tough at Thai House Restaurant. I call him right away to come and help me. I say, I need help. That's because owner Tiffany Tyner suddenly found herself on her own. Her husband basically ran the operation. And then uh, he had a sudden passing, and it kind of set her back a little bit, trying to hang on to the restaurant and look after the personal things that she looked after. Thai House had its worst inspection in 15 years on October 1st. The health district shut down the restaurant on Maryland Parkway and Silverado Ranch with 47 demerits. That's what 47 said to you, yes. I need help, and you I got that help. Yeah, I need help. She reopened October 5th with a three demerit A grade after hiring food safety consultant Tim Molson. He's chairman of the Nevada Food Safety Task Force and serves on the board of the Nevada Restaurant Association. His mission, to teach and train her staff in their own language. It's not that the people don't speak English, they don't comprehend very well, so we have to go very slow and repetitive in how we train them and teach them how to do those things. In this case and many others he's handled, Tim works to bridge a cultural sanitation gap. And so our standards are to protect everybody, not just the people in your country that may have grown some immunity to that particular strain of bacteria or whatever the case may be. And. Uh, and that's, that's the message I try and get through to them. Inspectors found Thai House storing open flour, sugar, and cornstarch in a back outside trailer. There was excessive grease on ventilation hoods, in-use utensils in lukewarm standing water, and employee keys stored on customers' chili sauce containers. Most of the things that were on the report were corrected on site when they pointed it out. Things like a food handler not cleaning a prep table after preparing raw beef, shrimp being thawed in standing water, and no detectable sanitizer in buckets or the dishwasher. Then there's the lone roach inspectors saw by the hand sink. A lot of times after a treatment, the sick roaches come out to die, and that's when you end up seeing them in the restaurant. I studied roaches for five years. So. <laughs> Inspectors also found expired beef, chicken, sticky rice, and tomatoes, which Tiffany blamed on her staff not changing the labels. So you mm -hmm. think just the label was expired, not yeah. the food? Yeah, not the food. But some food was compromised, like cut lettuce and cabbage stored at room temperature and shrimp and egg rolls uncovered in the freezer. There were also multiple dirty utensils stored as clean. Health inspectors told Thai House they needed Needed to see thorough and substantial improvement. We're going to continue doing good. <laughs> Thai House was one of seven health district closures. Repeat offender El Buen Taco Truck earned the name Roach Coach and Roaches Infested Sukushi Japanese Grill at the Paris Hotel Casino. There were also imminent health hazard closures at two Subway sandwich shops, including one in the Fashion Show Mall. You'll find details and pictures for all of that on our website, ktnv.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.